What is up, all of my beautiful dudes and dudettes? We are here today with, what's your name? Uh, my name is Miguel, Miguel Luyo. Miguel Luyo, and what did you do today? I got third place at the uh, Rochester Regional, yeah, here in New York. With Woo! what deck? Uh, playing Scareclaw, uh, pure, uh, pure Scareclaw. Yeah. Pure Scareclaw, that is yeah. insane. <laughs> um, do you want to talk about your matchups, or do you want to like give your shoutouts and then go right into the profile? What do you um, want? To be honest, I don't really remember all my matchups at the moment. Um, it was, I think I played two Rescue Ace, everything else was a different deck throughout the day. Um, I guess maybe just a couple quick shout outs. Uh, shout out Tony, Dave, guys came in the car. Uh, all the guys back home in uh, Frederick, Maryland, where we come from. Um, we got some competitive players out there, some good locals, so you know, they make me a better player. So yeah, shout out to all of them. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. We'll probably get right into it. Yeah, awesome. Let's just hop right into the profile right. now. Sick, let's do it. So we'll start uh, main deck here. And if you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know. Yeah, Otherwise, of course, I'll we probably go through this. <laughs> So we got, uh, start with the one Visa Starfrost. Um, you just play one in this deck. It's uh, basically you open this guy with any of the other Scareclaw names. You can do a lot of cool things. Um, no reason to play more than one though. So uh, yeah, so we got that guy. And then here we have the full Scareclaw lineup. So max out three on all these guys. Um, they're all one card starters. They're all extenders. Um, like it's a one card OTK through an open board. Um, obviously right card's the best because it's kind of like the Scareclaw gauge. You search and draw one. Yeah, pretty sick. Um, but all these guys are great. And then just like, you know, a quick rundown. Piercing, multiple attacks, boost the attack. So with like just three of these guys on board, that's like almost 20,000 damage, like piercing through monsters. So <laughs> Have you ever tested with lower ratios or is it pretty, st uh, you, you can't really um, Here and there, those. but no, I don't think you want to cut down on them. Because yeah, everything's a one card starter and um, like you see one name and like you're playing, you know, you can at least try and play and most of your games. if you see multiples, there's summon as it once per turn. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It only hurts if you open all three. That's when it yeah. only hurts. But if you open two, yeah, you just normal one and then special the other. Yeah, yeah. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Next we have uh, the two field spell for the deck. Um, you don't really want to open it because you search it with the link one. Mm -hmm. um, and you can actually, like with certain hands, search them both. Uh, so, you know, you search one, search again, and then the other one you have for follow-up uh, on your opening turn. So, pretty cool. No reason to play, no reason to play any less or any more than two, for sure. Uh, next we have two Scareclaw Arrival. And this is just like the extender, right? Um, it's the Monster Reborn. It has to be a main deck guy because it summons back in defense. Yeah. Um, and then it's like a branded opening effect. Banish it from Grave to protect the Link guy. Yeah, from getting destroyed by battle or card effect. Comes up a lot. Uh, really good. And then the first effect, the Reborn is not once per turn. I think some people get kind of confused on that, yeah. but it is not. Yeah, and so like pretty much going second, like nine out of ten times you're searching this Yeah, for the extra extender. And then just the one trap. And then, you know, this is your going first search off the uh, right card. This is the uh, Twin Saw. This card is insane. That's it's um, banished to like just gain protection. Or like you blank a card. Yes, yes. So the first effect on field, you tribute a Scareclaw monster for cost. Target two cards your opponent controls, destroy them. Um, Icarus attack, Sword Soul Blackout, really good. And then the same turn, you can banish it from Grave if you have the Link 3 on board. And, uh,. No link monsters can activate their effects for the rest of the turn. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a floodgate. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, like the amount of times like that comes up against Dragon Link, like Sky Striker I played today, resolve that against them. Um, yeah, crazy, crazy. Um, that's the Scareclaw package. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, that's pretty much the full Scareclaw engine. Yeah, it's um, like literally the only cards that suck to draw are like these two. So like it's it's just so powerful. Like the more extenders you see, the better. If you see at least one name, you can at least try to play. Yeah. And then into the uh, very small cash tier package, uh, three Fenrir. Mm -hmm. So these are, this is really, really cool in this deck because obviously it's Fenrir, it's a really good generic card going second. Um, but you get to search the Scareclaw cash tier. So it's basically an engine piece. It's almost like, it's not a full starter, but it's kind of like a 1.5 card starter. Um, so really, really good. And then this card's like insane. Like these five cards right here, I think are like what make the deck like very competitive and like able to push through hand traps, push through boards, all that good stuff. And it's um, just really a free other monster that you can special summon. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, you get another monster in defense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like just Fenrir in one name is like uh, is like Tryheart, Fenrir, Baron, plus like your back row. Yeah. That's it, crazy. It's insane, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do quite a lot, yeah. So anytime, anytime you open Fenrir, like you're feeling really good. You kind of feel like you can play through anything. Nice. So. Uh, and then we just get into some of like the some of the one ups. So Rota makes sense. This is just an extra right card. Um, you know, you want to see it as much as possible. So yeah, that's kind of obvious. And then Instant Fusion. I'll just 
I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll show you the target in a minute here. Uh, Someone told day. me that you resolved this. I was like, wait, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really good though, right? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Uh, so it's Millennium Eyes Restrict, uh, spoiler. And um, it's just like another called by, in my opinion. Like, it just protects, protects against droll, um, any other hand traps. And yeah, you get another monster in defense for your draw one, so. Some synergy there. Uh, called by, we don't like droll, so you know, <laughs> I gotta play that right now. Yes, sir. Called by and um, called by. And then the last one of this was like something I changed last minute. Monster Reborn. To be honest, this was very mediocre today. Like you could probably replace that with any other hand trap, tech card, whatever you want. Um, I guess in theory it was like an extra extender, right? But I don't know. I don't know if I'll play that again. That's a <laughs> that's the fringe card right there. And then uh, and then that's pretty much it. That's like the whole engine of the deck right here. The last we have is just hand traps. So yeah, this should be relatively standard for the current format. So like three Ash, you know, really good generic. Three Droll, gotta play it. Three Imperm, and then uh, one of my favorite hand traps, <laughs> Valor, and then uh, two Ogre. Two Ogre. And um and yeah, like it's a mid range deck. So like I like as many hand traps as possible. Um. I think these three make a lot of sense, just like to quickly touch on the Valor and the Ogre. Valor is just like one of my favorite hand traps, like I think it's so good. And there was one game today I drew all three of them. And like, it's, it's not one return, yeah, mm -hmm. and I resolved all three of them and that got me there. So I was like, okay. Um, and then Ogre, I just think like I wanted to put more hand traps and I think this is probably the next best one. Just being able to like remove a body from the field, like from your hand, I think is very valuable. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, there's like tons of decks where like you can just randomly hit like spells, oh, like just random Sorry. things that like hurt them really bad. Yeah, so. like continuous spells, field spells. Yeah, so like funny enough today, uh, I played a branded player, he normal summoned Quem, and I ogred it, and like he had no plays uh, on the for the rest of his turn or his follow up. So like, as a branded yeah. player, that sounds about right with yeah. ogre. <laughs> So, you know, it, it, it comes up pretty big. I like it a lot. I don't think I would cut it. And that's the whole main deck, 41, clean 41. How did you like running Droll and Ash together? Or is it the deck just so consistent that you can run all these like blowout hand traps yeah, together, not really worry? Yeah, I think so. I mean, like Droll and Ash, like sure can contradict a little bit, but like, I, I feel like it's a very powerful hand. Like, you know what I mean? Like I feel confident that my opponent's not playing, like if I open Droll Ash. And I don't think it happened too many times. Anyways. It didn't conflict at all, yeah. No, yeah, not that I can think of, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So uh, I guess we'll go into the extra deck here. Yeah. Um, so this is pretty, Pretty straightforward here. Uh, three Lightheart. Um, some people, a lot of Scarecrow lists play two. I think you need three just because, like, it very rarely comes up, but the times it does, like, you really wish you had the third one. So I think just, and it's super flexible, like, you might as well play three. I've like, messed around with Scarecrow and I 100% fully understand. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's random other extra deck cards you could put in, but, like, they're not going to be more valuable than the third. Like, the third one of these is going to come up more often than whatever yeah. card you would replace it with, so. It's almost it's almost in the same vein as, like, playing the third Shurig, the Ominous Omen, in Tri Brigade, where mm -hmm. it's, like, everybody will usually play two, but it's you need that third. Right, yeah. Push, it'll be the difference but between it. the extra extender for the search effect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, it'll be the difference between a win and a loss a lot of times yeah. when it does come up, especially going second. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, the, the boss monster of the deck, the three try heart. Uh, this card's just insane. Like, it's insane. It's mini Bagu effect puts everything in defense it's unaffected and then um and then it's effect to a special summons from grave and searches like it's, it's yeah, all one insane. effect and it's insane and it's a soft once per turn i should say that about this too these guys are all soft once per turn so that's why the visa Starfrost play is really cool like you pop this guy you summon him back and then you have another material you know oh, to search your field to search the second yeah. field spell yeah for follow-up yeah oh yeah because you can link into Lightheart with Lightheart. Yeah, yeah, it just has oh. to be from the main monster zone. So yeah. you need Starfrost, but yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. It's a really cool play. I do that I a lot, and people are just that. like, people are always like, what is it? I'm like, yeah, it's, I can do that. It's the Manadium special, but in Scarecrow. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. And then, it's almost yeah. like it's better in the deck. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. You wouldn't think so. And then you have the try hard, just insane. And like a lot of times, like going second, like if you have any level three in your graveyard, you have access to any Scareclaw in your deck through try hard. So like sometimes you make one, you search your missing piece. Oh, I still need one more piece. Just make the second one, search it again. And like, just, you know, just the recipe for OTK basically. Um, yeah, so that's awesome. And then everything else is just kind of like generic cards that kind of help play through things. So Link Spider, that's uh, specifically play through Nibiru. Yeah. All you need is two extenders and you can play through Nibiru with Link Spider. Yeah, yeah, a couple times. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cause like I'll, I'll hold as many extenders I can trying to play through Nibiru and then they'll nib me and you just link the token and then you have two extenders and that's uh, three effect monsters for try hard. So it's basically nice. the playthrough. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> um, Donner, you just we just need a generic link too that can pop monsters. And what's really cool, what comes up with him is, uh, you, obviously he leaves the field when you use his pop effect, and then a lot of times that'll open up space for your light heart to uh, to get its effect. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's okay. yeah, yeah. And that came up like once or twice today too as well. So that's a pretty cool play. Um, cross. 
Sheep, this is for a very unique combo. Um, it's basically to make Baron under five summons. I didn't use this once today, but like you kind of have to play it. Like if you have a strong inclination that your opponent's on uh, Nibiru, and you know that, um, it, like, and you know they're on Nibiru, then you pretty much have to make this, like, you know, in, in order to play under it. Um, but yeah, it doesn't come up too much. Um, but you not know. today, yeah. Yeah, not today. Yeah, yeah. But but you definitely need it. Um, Nightmare Phoenix, just need a link to to clear spell traps, yeah. And a cool thing, if it's under Tryheart, you get the co-link and draw one. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, for Purely, you know, or anything else that just is problematic, I don't think it came up once today. I didn't play any Purely, thankfully. Um, but yeah, I kind of feel like th that's kind of a must in the deck as well. Um, something weird, I'm on three Veiler. You don't ever make this except for turn three when you went first. Um, but it's crazy, you have Veiler in hand, oh, you I can't use that on my turn, you just normal summon. Right so, uh, yeah. The, yeah, and you equip right card. Yeah, so you yeah. Got three negates. yeah, yeah, and this came up like two or three times today. Like it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it like it's not often, but when it does, it's gonna win you the game. Oh, like, the Valor value, bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're getting extra value out of Valor with it. Yeah, it's pretty sick. And obviously, it's Valor plus a cash tier. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then a uh, Baron. Yeah, obviously, this is generic. Super cool. Um, this card comes up a lot, like a lot, and it's always right card and Visa Starfrost to make the Baron. Yeah, yeah. Um. And then uh, I'll just quickly here, I'll show you this card first, because um, this card like also makes the deck way, way, way more competitive. It's insane. So like going first a lot of times, like, you know, you make Baron, Scareclaw, Rykart, and then you banish him from Grave and you have this too. And it's an extra extender. And uh, most importantly, it allows you to like make Baron turn one, like plus Tryheart, and you can leave Baron on field. Yeah. Um, That's nice. Yeah. Really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. It's a fun combo. And then lastly, yeah, the, um, uh, <laughs> the instant the fusion goom. target. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the second call by the grave. Yeah, exactly. The second call. That's exactly. And I even thought that was really insane in your deck because, like, it somehow made, like, it established, like, like a board kind of, like, well, yeah, protection, right? Because it, it gives you the protection, right? It's kind of like a second called by the grave. And going second, too, it's really good, like, because yeah. it targets on field or grave. Um, mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a negate going second. And then, like, you have the extra defense for a draw. And then, like, once you get to the end of your turn, you just link it off and you, like, get extra follow up or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's really good. Like I, it, I actually just recently added that, and I don't know why I didn't have that from the beginning. So nice. yeah, so that's the extra deck. Um, yeah, pretty clean. And uh, like I have a lot of stuff and a lot of like you know utility and everything in there. But ninety percent of your games, you're just summoning Tryheart and Lightheart. That's all you need. Yeah, especially going second. At any point, did you miss like? having an Opalooza or something like nope. that, or even like an access code? No, not at all, not at all. Because like, like the, the Tryheart, it just OTKs so easily. Like it's so, all you need is to get your three bodies on board and it's pretty easy to do and you have like 20,000 damage. So it's like, like, you have like three access codes. Yeah, anyway. yeah. Like that can mo do piercing. Most games you look at the board and you're like, okay, I just out that background, I don't care how many monsters are on field, like you can't stop I'm me from gaming you. Yeah, I'm gonna pierce yeah, through every like single one. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That makes sense. And he's unaffected by all of them as well, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I don't, I didn't really miss it at all. And then, um, and then you'll see maybe in the extra deck some things, some things that kind of like help make up for like the lack of like negate uh, negation and that kind of stuff. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'll quickly go through the extra deck here. This this should be pretty standard. I think just about everybody is playing like <laughs> two lightning storm, two <laughs> feather duster. Um, this really really good. Um, wanted to keep it in the side. I don't want it to conflict with Fenrir in the main. Um, True. But yeah, I mean obviously yeah, super good going second. I don't think I need to say too much. Uh, I want to respect uh, Labyrinth and I want to respect uh, Branded. So I feel like, I don't know, I just kind of feel like these are a must for certain matchups um, because they're really, really good. And it came up against Branded today, so. Nice. Yeah, gotta have those. And then three judgment, yeah, that kind of helps with the negation. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've heard yeah. about that stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really good card. Did, did um, you like it today? Oh, dude, I love it. This card's so good. Like, in theory, you have Solemn Judgment for what, like, like Lightning Storm, Evenly, like, Board Breakers, but, like, there's so many decks that just lose immediately if you use uh, Judgment or Normal Summon. Like, so many decks. Um, and I, that's, what it, that's what I usually use it for. Um, yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then uh, the little spice here. So this is uh, I side this in only going first. This is the Omni Negate for the Scare Clash, or for the uh, for the Scare Claw. It's, uh, it's called Scare Clash. It's a to do this too. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it's really cool because it, it doesn't negate the activation and it doesn't destroy. Um, and it sends the graveyard for cost, like from the from the spell trap zone. So like, there's absolutely no way they can negate it. Um, like no way at all. And then it, yeah, and it doesn't negate the activation. So you know, branded fusion talents, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it just crumbles. Yeah. And then just the last two cards. I think just wanted to respect back row decks a little bit more yeah. cosmic cyclone this goes in going first going a lot um a lot so yeah did you play a lot of back row decks today or? i didn't play any yeah <laughs> luckily yeah yeah play rescue age yeah you yeah, played rescue age yeah you could, you could say so so like so how do you feel having gotten third place 
at a 206 person regionals with Scarecrow. Uh, it feels good. I mean, I've been playing this deck for a few months now, and I've had more success with this deck than any other deck I've played in my time playing Yu Gi Oh! Um, and I think it's super, super underrated. I mean, give it a try. It's also really, really fun to play, um, especially if you just like swinging a bunch of times for a bunch of damage. It's uh, it's pretty good. It's so, a combo um, unga boonga deck. Yeah, 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 <laughs> kind of. And, and it's very simple. Like, there's no there's no confusing lines or anything. Um, but yeah, I say it people all the time. Like, I think it's super underrated. So, um, but yeah, that's the profile. Very nice. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations again. <laughs> thank you so well, man. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Can't wait to see you.